The Music in Africa Access 2023 conference held in Dar es Salaam featured over 14 showcases from across the continent by artists such as Bonga Flava superstar Mario from Tanzania. <laughs> The Lost Men from Ghana. Kasiva Mutua from Kenya. And the Madalizo Band from Malawi. South African rapper Sho Majosi's performance was spectacular. But so was her keynote interview. The Huku and John Cena hitmaker sat with me in front of an eager and admiring audience and shared a few secrets of her recipe to success. Here are some highlights. Some men are rough like John Cena. Some men are get up like John Cena. He used to be cool when he used to come through. Now you want to act tough like John Cena. Trend Can you speak about the significance of preserving cultural identity? So when I was in South Africa, at, at that time, there wasn't a visible, there wasn't a prominent Tsonga artist within the mainstream space. I wanted to see that, so I became that. There wasn't an artist that was making music that was a combination of South, South African and East African. So I took South African beats and I put Kiswahili lyrics on them. I studied in Massachusetts yeah. um, for, for four years. And did your experience in the U.S. Um, also shape how you do your music now in terms of having a very strong uh, African style? I think it's actually very important to see yourself from outside. outside. <laughs> when I was in the U.S., I realized that for one, I was not happy being in that society. It felt as though the work had been done. And I missed being from a place where it felt like we had, to, we had so much more to do. Your style contributed to your success and set you apart. There is a lot of artists, you know, these days, right? Like a lot, a lot of artists. And so how are you you know, how are you going to be differentiated from everyone? And I suppose my style really did that a lot for me. Anyone can push boundaries. Like yeah. you can go right now into your studio and make literally anything. You could hit these two bottles together and record it. You know what I mean? The, the real question for me is like, like, how do you make new stuff and have that stuff translate to a bigger audience? Right. You know, I think that's the question. How do you introduce a new genre and then people embrace that? Okay, you know? let's, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about taking something that is known, that exists, but like putting it into a new context. When I blew up, which was 2017, which is when I started, Huku Imetoka 2018. So around that time, there was, in the US, there was, um, the Migos were really big including other rappers, but the style that was really popular, Mdaile, it was this style of rapping in triplets. Can you no give one. an example? Yeah. So Migos is the, probably the most famous on that. So they'll be like, Versace, 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 Medusa, head on me like Kamluminati. Versace, Versace, Medusa head on me like I'm Luminati. I, I, I know that you like it. Versace, my neck and my wrist is so sloppy. And that was the style of trap. I took that style of rap and I put it on Gom and I put it on Kiswahili. So Niki Sema, Kwani Nataka Majozi Ade Amanini. Umeona. Kwani Nataka Majozi Ade Amanini. Nye hami ali. Kimbona mwenzaka na sema nanpenda laki. I'm actually rapping like the Migos, if you listen carefully. Medusa head on me like cover the dead. Kwani Nataka Majozi Ade Amanini. Nye hami ali. So you guys will be like, wow, why do I love it? I can connect with it. While at the same time, it's actually taking a trend on Bayo Tayari Ipo. I'm Heather Maxwell from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, and this is Music Time in Africa on The Voice of America.